Good evening, Candy Kids and family. Hope each of you are doing well, staying safe, and staying healthy. The Children's Ministry at Canyon Baptist Church will continue to be moving forward with Children's Church at 9 a.m. and Children's Journey Groups at 1030. But go ahead now and make plans to join us in the Children's Wing for our Wednesdays Gone Wacky as we continue to be learning our about Bible drill. Also, our Wednesdays Gone Wacky theme for the month of February is wear as many red items as you can. Each week we'll see who has the most red items each night. But before I share with our, you our Children's Church lesson um, tonight, let's have a time of worship with one of our worship songs. Let's worship together with Do It Again.
Amen. The Lord is with us. He's uh, there protecting us, and He's always there in His faithfulness, and we continue to have faith in Him, and He'll help us in all sorts of situations going on in our lives. And this is one of our praise and worship songs we've been singing in our children's church services. Well, tonight I want to share with you our children's church lesson from Sunday, February 21st. So go ahead and grab your Bible and look for the book of James. James, which is located in the New Testament the Bible's right here. And go ahead and look for the book of James in the New Testament. We're looking at James chapters 1 and James chapter 2. James chapter 1 and James chapter 2. We're talking about doers of the word. Doers of the word from James 1 and 2. James was a leader in the Jerusalem church. He wrote a letter to the Jewish believers who had moved to many different places. He told them the way believers should live. And he wrote, in his letter he wrote, James explained that talking about God in the church is not enough. We have to do what God says. James wrote, be doers of the word. If you hear the word but don't do it, you fool yourselves. Anyone who is a hearer but not a doer is like someone who looks at himself in a mirror, goes away, and forgets right away what he looked like. God's word shows us the truth about ourselves. Anyone who hears and does the word will be blessed. James explained that people really love God, who, that people who really love God will show care to people too. God is honored when believers show their faith with actions. One way to do this is by helping orphans and widows, people who have who, people who are who have no one to take care of them. We should we show love in what we say and do. James also wrote, he said, What good is it if someone says he has faith but does not do what is good and right? If someone is cold and hungry, you say to him, Go in peace, stay warm, and be well fed. But you don't give him clothes or food. What good is it? James said that in the same way, faith without works is useless. Anyone can say he has faith, but true faith is proven by good works. James reminded the believers that Abraham showed his faith when he obeyed God and got ready to sacrifice his own son, Isaac. Rebecca showed her faith by risking her life to hide the spies in Jericho. God does not accept people because they do what is good and right. He accepts people who have true faith in Jesus. We can see true faith, in, faith when someone does what is good and right. Faith comes first. And then doing what is good and right comes next. So we need to be doers of the word. I share with the children a lot of times that our faith or our, our actions speak louder than our words. Our actions speak louder than our words. Our actions. When we do things, showing love, not trying to get a credit, a pat of mom, that a boy, that a boy, look at me, I'm going to help somebody. But what I'm saying is when we be doers of the word, that we go and share the good news. Not just share the good news, but through our attitude, our actions, and the words, and the things we do, and the things we say, and how we, how we go about it. If we go about it in an evil way just to say, hey, good job, good job, yes. No, what God tells us is go and share the love. Through our attitude, our actions, and the words, and the things we do. Go out and help someone. Show love to somebody. And just do what God did. Just go love on people. Love on people. Appreciate people. Love on them. Take care of them. Help them. And share the truth with them. And be that example for them to follow. Not just follow once at a time, all the time. And that's why we need to be following God's word. Because it's our instruction book in our lives. And it helps us do uh, good days, bad days, scary times, wherever times in our lives. God's instruction book is there right there for us as we follow his rule, uh, commands and rules and instructions for us in our lives. And then we need to be doers of the word. That means go and share um, our faith with others and actually show people that are around us that it's not for a show. It's that God, I love God so much. I have faith in God. He'll, he'll take care of me. He'll help me through and I need to help others. And just do not to get a recognition or show or a plaque on the wall. It's about going and help others and just do it because that's what God did. God went out and Jesus did. He went out and set the example for me to follow. And that's to go and help others in their time of need. Help others that are just are less fortunate than I am. Because God has blessed us with so much that why don't we bless others through our attitude or actions, the words we say, and the things that we do. And hopefully our kids, as I shared with our Canaan kids on Sunday morning, that our, our actions speak louder than words and that the way we act, the way we do things, and uh, how we help each other out. People notice those things and know that there's something different about that person. There's something there's something really different about it. He's so happy, bubbly, joyful, so exciting. 
it, it doesn't want no recognition, but there's something different. And that's Jesus is living inside my heart and you can live inside your heart as well. And that we can share that example of letters to follow. And hopefully you can be the doers of the word, just like James wrote a letter to the church, encouraging the church, which is the body of believers, to go out and help the widows and the orphans and help other people in their time of need and just be the example of Christ to, uh, for others to follow and be that example of someone to follow. Hopefully our Canaan kids learn that. Uh, th this past Sunday morning, but also learning it this evening. Well, every uh, time in Children's Church, we have a big picture question of the month. And our question of the month is, what is the church? Now, I know your kids are probably already screaming it. Some of the parents are probably already screaming it. Hopefully they are. I know you are. Um, screaming, the answer is, but we uh, the kids are already screaming, I know. And then what is the church? The church is the people, not the building, the people. And the church is all Christians everywhere. Uh, the, church, the church is all Christians everywhere who gather together in the communities to worship and serve God. What is the church? The church is all Christians who get everywhere who gather together in the communities to worship and serve God. And that's what we need to be doing. Be worshiping together as a Bible leader, but also serving God through through uh, help access service and other things um, for people in our community, helping um, be in the hands and feet of Jesus. And so what is the church? The church is the body of believers, not the building. It's the body of believers who worship together and serve together. Let's go ahead and take time now this evening to watch our video of Doers of the Word from James chapters 1 and 2. James was a leader in the Jerusalem church. He wrote a letter to the Jewish believers who had moved to many different places. He told them the way believers should live. James explained that talking about God and church is not enough. We have to do what God says, James wrote. Be doers of the word. If you hear the word but don't do it, you fool yourselves. Anyone who is a hearer but not a doer is like someone who looks at himself in a mirror, goes away, and forgets right away what he looked like. God's word shows us the truth about ourselves. Anyone who hears and does the word will be blessed. James explained that people who really love God will show care to people too. God is honored when believers show their faith with actions. One way to do this is by helping orphans and widows people who have no one to take care of them. We show love in what we say and do, James also wrote. What good is it if someone says he has faith but does not do what is good and right? If someone is cold and hungry and you say to him, go in peace, stay warm, and be well fed, but you don't give him clothes or food, what good is it? James said that in the same way. Faith without works is useless. Anyone can say that he has faith, but true faith is proven by good works. James reminded the believers that Abraham showed his faith when he obeyed God and got ready to sacrifice his son Isaac. Rahab showed her faith by risking her life to hide the spies in Jericho. God does not accept people because they do what is good and right. He accepts people who have true faith in Jesus. We can see that true faith when someone does what is good and right. Faith comes first, and then doing what is good and right comes next. Jesus said, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word. James reminded believers to be doers of the word. Jesus rescues us from sin and frees us to live a life that honors God. By doing what is good and right, people who trust Jesus can show that they really believe in Him. Amen. Um, as we continue to learn about being doers of the Word, hopefully as we go about this week in our uh, daily lives, that we continue to be doers of the Word and maybe reach out to somebody and help, us, help somebody and just be the helping hand to somebody just like Jesus did for us in our lives and uh, sharing the gospel as well. Let's have a time of prayer this evening. 
Dear Lord, we just uh, come before you now, Lord, thanking you, Lord, for our Canaan kids and families, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for protecting them and keeping them safe and healthy, Lord. We just lift up our Canaan kids as they go about their week this week and the rest of their week. And uh, as you keep them safe in their studies, they continue to study your word, not only just your word, but also study their schoolwork that you have in front of them, Lord, that they'll just uh, continue to do well and finish strong and some, uh, uh, finishing up this school year, Lord, before we go into spring break and summer plans, Lord. Continue to watch over our church family, Lord, those in our church family that are hurting or sick or um, just having uh, a tough time or have lost loved ones, Lord. We just ask you to be with them, Lord, and to be that comforter and that great physician for them, Lord. Lord, we just lift up our Canaan um, pastor search team, Lord, as we know that you have the shepherd plan for our, our, our church family, Lord, that shepherd to lead our church, Lord, and ask you to just be with the search team as they uh, pray and we gather together to um, Pick the man that you have uh, laid out for us as our shepherd, Lord. Continue to be with that whole process during this time, Lord. Continue to be our country, Lord. Be with those that are sick, Lord, and those that have been affected by the winter storms uh, that came through that still might not have power or food, Lord. Just ask you to be with them and uh, keep them, uh, be with them and keep them safe, Lord. Continue to be with um, those that are um, traveling or going to do other things, Lord. Just ask you to keep each and every base safe and healthy, Lord. Continue to watch over Canaan Kids' families and looking forward to being with them throughout this week on Wednesday and, of course, again next Sunday, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Canaan Kids and families, I just hope you have a blessed night. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Hope to see you guys Wednesday night for our Wednesday's Gone Wacky. And if you need anything, just let me know. We're praying for you guys. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your evening. See you later. Bye.